Good morning everyone, it's range test time, it's Sunday and today we have the Audi SQ6 e-tron 100 kilowatt hour battery, 360 kilowatt power and when you do use launch control 380 kilowatt that's 517 horsepower I'm doing 130 kilometers an hour range test here uh, this car has an 800 volt a battery system can charge with up to 270 kilowatt. I navigated here to the charger so it should preheat the battery. There is no message in the car where it tells you hey I'm preheating the battery but there's a battery temperature in there and when I left it said 5 degrees when I arrived here 28 kilometers later what was it 20 minutes it was 13 degrees and I plugged in and at 89 percent or so I got 27 kilowatt I still have that the car thinks from 90 percent to 100 percent takes 80 minutes I hope that's not true it would be horrible, <laughs> really horrible. Then I might not charge to 100% because that's crap. This car has winter ties on, gigantic ones, 20 inch in the rear, 285s in the front, 255. This is the sporty version of the Q6 e-tron. So we have uh, the red brake caliber, so more sporty braking and everything, more power um, equipped with a lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to see how the car is on the road, especially at 130, how does it drive, what is the consumption like, because here, so again, it's all mostly downhill to get here, and I had 340 watt hours per kilometer average consumption. <laughs> That's pretty high, so I hope the battery preheating really did something, and I hope it does something right now. Um, because I want to do a charging test afterwards, and then the next range test with 110 kilometers an hour. Still only 27, 28 kilowatt at 92 percent. What does the car think it takes to 100 percent now? Hour and 10 minutes. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna charge to 95 percent. That's crazy. And I saw it at home when you charge AC with 11 kilowatt at 95 percent or so, it only charges with four or five kilowatt then. Huh, even though it has a buffer of 5 kilowatt hours. I'm on my way driving 103 as you can see on this beautiful amazing head-up display it's so clear so sharp looks amazing it's way bigger than in my ID7 it also shows a lot more information and some things animation um, are annoying <laughs> I show you in an extra video um, and here is my trip this is your cockpit on the left is my driving data so far consumption is gigantic because again the first 10 so till right now uh, is all uphill I started with 95% I'm at 91 um, and my battery temperature went up to even 28 degrees so it was heating up really well while charging that is good even though charging only with 27 kilowatt it still said when i uh, uh, i put the um, charge limit to 95 percent so i started with 95 percent it still said an hour more from 95 to 100 percent i'm not doing that i don't know if this is true but again, I've seen AC charging with 5 kilowatt, and why would it reduce AC charging and not DC charging? So I'm scared. I don't want to spend that much time. I have my main view here where I have music, Spotify is included in the car, and um, I have uh, the map here, which you can put in satellite too. I'm in eco mode, by the way. 
I'm trying. If it gets cold, I'm going out of eco mode. Right now, I'm okay. Heat is at 22 degrees in auto, um, medium airflow, no seat heater and anything. I had the heat on during charging, so it didn't get cold in here. And it's right now it's very comfortable it doesn't heat up anything except my space you can see that here it's not heating up um, and like i said if i feel that it gets cold i will go out of efficiency mode right away um, efficiency mode here is important not just because of heat because the this has the car has the air suspension and so the car also goes down and is more slippery through the air and less consumption when you are in eco mode but in, in individual mode you can also set up the height the, the do you say height yeah I think so I'm at 70%, so I used 25% of the battery, drove 78 kilometers, that's 312 kilometers of full range. Um, I put the heat, by the way, to 22 degrees and I put the heat out of eco. So the car is still in efficiency mode, but not in eco, it was too cold. Um, that's just how I roll. Uh, <laughs> it was minus two and a half degrees when I started. Now it's zero degrees. You can only see see the time and the outside temperature here in the cockpit. That's a bit sad. Here in the uh, main display, you can't see it unless you put it specifically in. So if I have my normal view, there's no time or anything uh, and no outside temperature. I find it weird. My battery temperature decreased. It's now 22. It was 28 when we started. So for my charging test, I will have to preheat the battery once we stop this uh, range test, which won't take long when I look at the uh, consumption because consumption is 320 watt hours per kilometer in the efficiency mode and I'm driving the 133 constant. There's no acceleration or slowing down. It's not busy. It's perfect today. Yes, the first nine kilometers were uphill, but other but there was also a downhill. But we'll see at the end. Um, but the drive so far is perfect. I have another what is it, 10 or 15 kilometers? Then I turn around and go back, and then uh, we go in the direction of Munich because it will. We I want to drive down to 10 percent. My assist system just went off because I'm driving against the sun and the camera, I guess, couldn't see the lines. It gave me a, an error message, hey, assist system temporarily off, but it's back on now. It was just for 20 seconds or so, but still, against the sun, it turned off. I mean, the, I, I cleaned the, the windshield, not with myself, so with the wipers. Um, so I don't know why, if there's dirt on it or, and then the sun makes it even worse, <clears throat> or it's just the sun by itself. I'm at 45%, so used 50% of the battery. It was 152 and a half kilometers. So that's 305 kilometers of full range today. Now one and a half degrees out there. Um, I put my I took my jacket off by the way but I put the heat back to 23 degrees and no efficiency because the Sun is so warm but the foot area is cold but still um, interesting is the range display so with 50% I drove 150 kilometers but with 45% left it thinks I can only drive 124 that would be weird but we'll see consumption 311 that is high um, not navigate it back to the charger and I won't navigate to the charger I will navigate to the uh, gas station and my steering assist went out the whole time so it was on for a minute then out for a minute but now I've changed highway the Sun is not in front of me and now it seems to work so it's really the Sun
I navigated back to the gas station and right now it thinks I will arrive with 12% so I'm gonna take the next exit not this one but I see all of the data here how long it takes what time how many kilometers when do I have to do something in six and a half kilometers and see the same thing here in the cockpit and in my head-up display I only see that in 6.3 kilometers I have to do something um, and when I'm then close I get the animation go off here the light here by the way that does something when you have the blinker on can you see then the, 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 the lights go on but it doesn't show that you have to go right or something so not like in, in a Volkswagen it's weird that's fine <clears throat> how is the SQ6 e-tron Audi to drive on the highway and it is amazing it's really amazing extremely comfortable I had the, the massage on um, is nice it's not too strong not weird it's awesome um, the steering assist when it works not against the Sun I'm a bit disappointed about that Volkswagen doesn't have the problem um, but but when it's not against the Sun it works perfectly it doesn't bug me it recognizes my touch even uh, when I have don't touch the steering wheel for a while it takes a while till it uh, complains it doesn't have auto lane change so to overtake I'm surprised that an Audi doesn't have that but I looked in the assist system it's not there that you can turn it on or off and I tapped many times so not full blinker where it should do that nope I'm okay with this if not then not I, I don't like it anyways but it does it all nice when it activates there's no weird steering movement it's very very subtle and comfortable it's just so smooth it's quiet in here at 133 it's awesome so driving this car is amazing I love the head-up display the cockpit oh yeah it's a bit it's a lot and I don't know I'm sad that there's only two trips short-term trip and long-term and the short-term resets automatically after a few hours parking at least not after turning the car off for a second you have another trip meter so just the kilometers somewhere else that you can reset but still I don't know it could be a bit more uh, other than that I'm comfy and nice I can see everywhere the mirrors and everything is nice I love driving this car on a long distance trip consumption is a bit high um, the range display I don't know I don't trust it I think we can go further <laughs> but we'll see uh, by the way in the energy uh, by the way in this uh, graphic here with the car you see that the rear motor is now doing something and only when I push it I see that both motors are doing something so it is in the efficient mode <laughs> it is really in there battery is now 17 degrees I'm at 35 percent it thinks I will arrive with 9 to 10 percent because it switched before we'll see I'm guessing it's 10 and I'm okay with that Do you want to charge for free? Stupid question. Of course you do. If you want that, then use Encharge. What is Encharge? You charge at a charging location and then with Encharge, you rate the charging location. Is it good? Does everything work? And when you do that, you get kilometers. And with these kilometers, you can then charge for free. And you also help the community because the charging provider will get information if something isn't working or if the charging location, something is not nice and then he can fix it how amazing is that check them out in the link in the description below I arrived with 13% and just a minute ago navigation still told me I will arrive with 10% that's weird um, drove 238.8 kilometers Google Maps says it's 241 kilometers that was a nice drive the car is really nice and comfortable I just calculated the range and with 95 kilowatt hours usable at this temperatures minus two and a half to now two and a half degrees plus I get to 294 kilometers in the winter with those they're not winter tires by the way they're all season tires and you can only drive 210 I drove 230 a few days ago at <laughs> the top speed oops um, 
Yes, doing charge, so 294 kilometers with this big battery. Now, yeah, I had the heat on on 23 degrees, but just my area, uh, my area, and this car has a heat pump. Doing a charging test now, plugged in at 8% with 28 degrees battery temperature. And the car now, when it started, showed 264 kilowatt, 800 volt system rules. That's the stuff. I hear the battery cooling going. Let's see. In the car, it shows a wonderful display. What do we get? 267, yeah, 267 kilowatt. It says 20 minutes to 90%. Yeah. Audi says 10 to 80 percent in 17 minutes. <laughs> Charging test now will be an extra video and then 110 kilometers now range test. But let's see what this says. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Battery Life One, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I've a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.